And also, KDISD, again, we talked about that. We'll talk about uh, making the school counselors from chaplains and what they decided. Also, Rodeo Houston, it kicks off in just a few hours. What they have planned for opening day, we will fill you in on all the details. Of course, you probably already know that if you've got those boots shined up. Anyway, we'll welcome you to Tuesday morning, everybody. We're already off to a busy one. I'm Rita Garcia. And I'm Samika Nye. Meteorologist Ali Lareska joining us with a look at the forecast. Oh, look at you, Rodeo Ready. Yeah! Oh, my voice. I'm, I'm ready to rodeo. Yeah, I've already got that yeehaw rodeo voice. All right, weather-wise for today, it is a warm start to the morning. Looking at uh, mostly cloudy skies, first thing out the door. Check out the temperature reading. 71 degrees. We warmed yesterday into the low 80s. We are not going to see a huge drop-off this morning. One thing you will notice, the winds are starting to pick up once again. Could see gusts closer to 30 miles per hour as we get into the afternoon. This morning, it is a breezy start, 10 to 15. 15 mile per hour winds for many locations. Not just a warm start here in Houston. Most of the areas this morning reporting temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s. Angleton at 68, 66 in Bay City. Here's a look at that hour by hour forecast. We are dry today out ahead of a cold front that is going to be moving in overnight tonight into tomorrow. Big drop in temperature reading starting tomorrow. I'll have the latest details on the drop as well as our rain chances coming up in just a few minutes. Only on 13 this morning, a retired Houston teacher was kicked out of the house she's lived in since 1977, even though she actually never put her property up for sale. And apparently it could happen to any senior citizen. ABC 13's Maya Shea tracked down the people and paperwork in a winding series of questionable real estate transactions that left a retired teacher without a home. No, thank you. All right, 449, and we are talking about, yes, it is that favorite time of the year. We are about to start the rodeo, and we've got a good-looking forecast for today. If you're a fan of warmer, breezy conditions, we've got that for you today. And if you're a fan of maybe some colder, windy weather, we've got that for you as well. We are going to see that transition. Cold front moving in tomorrow morning is going to allow for a much cooler day, but also some very strong winds to blow in, so be prepared. It is also going to be cooler on Thursday behind the cold front as those temperatures dip into the 50s overnight, maybe even some upper 40s, but afternoon highs on Thursday will be in the upper 50s. And in, with that jacket in mind, you'll also want to make sure you have an umbrella handy. But for today, it is going to feel a little bit more sticky. We're looking at some breezy conditions, locally gusty in some spots. That wind is going to pick up behind the front, so count on those winds to continue for tomorrow. Slim rain chances behind the front Thursday and Friday. Friday. Otherwise, that br that front is going to bring a noticeable drop, not just in temperatures, but also in the humidity levels. Out the door this morning, we've got overcast conditions. Expect some thick clouds this morning, not so much fog, but there is a little bit of haze, a little bit more haze down along the coastline. But right now, visibilities all along the coast are doing A-OK. -okay. Uh, Again, most of us will not see any sort of widespread fog this morning because of the winds. The winter day, 83 this afternoon. The record to tie is 86 degrees set back in 1954. I know it's warm here, but check out the warmth that's developing out west. They've got a dry breeze blowing in from the west, and they've got temperature readings just a couple degrees shy of hitting triple digits. Del Rio today forecast high of 98. Laredo, it hit 92 yesterday, even hotter for this afternoon afternoon, but where is that cold air that I speak of? It is still locked up to the north. Look at Bismarck today, temperature reading of 15 degrees behind that front. That cooler air will be diving southward ahead of that front. We've got well above normal temperatures stretching from Texas all the way into the Midwest. Chicago today, those highs out ahead of that front will be almost 40 degrees warmer than average. So here's the front later on tonight. You can see that colder air diving in the separation of warm air, cooler air. We're going to be feeling that throughout the day tomorrow, and that's going to continue at least through Thursday as those temperatures struggle to warm on Thursday. Thursday, even hitting 60 degrees. Now, as far as precipitation, we're still tracking this area of low pressure sitting off the coast of California. That doesn't make its way into our area until Thursday and Friday. So that cold front brings very slim rain chances, less than a 20% chance. Then we get some moisture blowing in here with that storm system on Thursday. Right now, that storm system could bring maybe a 30% chance of rain, most likely during the afternoon, evening hours on Thursday, and then a 40% chance as we get into the Friday 
day time frame. But the heaviest of the rain is going to stay well off to our east. We anticipate less than an inch of rain with this next front and even the system behind it for Thursday and Friday. We should be drying out over the weekend as temperatures warm close to 80 degrees once again. So heading to the rodeo this weekend, uh, you won't need those sweaters. You won't need those jackets. May need uh, an umbrella as we get into next week as those rain chances will be somewhere between 40% on Monday and then a 20 to 30% chance uh, in the coming days. Good morning, everybody, again on this uh, Tuesday morning. I'm Samika Knight. <laughs> Welcome to it, everybody. It's great to see you. I'm Rita Garcia, 5 a.m. right on the nose. You're in the right place. Let's kick things off like we usually do at the top of the hour with our meteorologist, Alita Lareska. That humidity, <laughs> it is back, and we can feel it out there. Hi. Yes, yes, good morning. <laughs> yes, it definitely is back. That humidity we've felt yesterday, it is still with us this morning, and, and also whether or not we'll see some rain with that cold front coming up in just a few minutes. Thank you so much, Alita. Well, new video shows the chaos, confusion, and just horror as a woman launched a gun battle inside Lakewood Church. In the video, you can hear one of the officers praying after trying to convince a fellow officer to go with her to get closer to the gunfire. The search for justice has been put on the back burner for more than a quarter million of people here in Houston. Our newsroom is taking a closer look at the staffing issue that goes deeper than originally thought, and we will have that angle for you ahead at 530. Samika, it is a warm and breezy start to the morning, but also very, very humid. Currently, those dew point temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, but by this time tomorrow, we are going to have a cold front on the way, and that cold front has got some drier air behind it that's going to be filtering in across our area timing out this front and when we can see a big cool down as well straight ahead because while it's warm and humid now i guess we're in for some changes later this week huh we've got changes tomorrow coming to our area with a cold front today we are ahead our wednesday i'll have the latest update on that drop in temperatures and our rain chances to close out the week coming up in just a few minutes all right. All right, Brandon, thanks so much for that live report. We'll talk to you again later. Houston police say that you can expect to see some changes on the road in an effort to fight crime. Chief Troy Finner made the announcement yesterday while marking 40 years of the March on Crime initiative. Need a break. All right, the highs for today nearing records here across the south, but a cold front is on the way, and that's going to draw back those temperature readings starting tomorrow. Let's take a look at your hour-by-hour -hour forecast. Today's forecast on this first day of Rodeo Houston will be warming by by 1 o'clock, looking at temperature readings in the low 80s with a high of 83. Temperatures slowly drop off later on tonight. We'll talk about those drop in temperatures and our rain chances for the rest of the week coming up. Thursday morning, we could be dealing with temperature readings starting off in some spots in the upper 40s to low 50s. So you're going to want to bundle up, not just Wednesday, Thursday as well, part of your Friday. Friday morning with temperature readings in the low 50s and then gradually warming up. You'll also want that umbrella as well for Thursday and Friday, even though the rain chances are fairly low, there could still be some scattered showers, maybe an isolated rumble thunder for your outdoor activities. Stand by for all that information coming your way if you're headed to Rodeo. I'm Rita Garcia. Welcome to it. Happy Tuesday. I'm Jacob Rascone. And I'm Samika and I'm meteorologist Alila Lareska is trying to get us to the Rodeo. Yes, I am. I'm trying to get all this humidity. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very warm and humid, oh, but to buy tomorrow. Well, uh. <laughs> all right. Well, we also like the fact that the Rodeo is here. Oh, my gosh. So excited. We've been waiting all year long for this, to, <laughs> this day to arrive. And we brace ourselves for potentially bad weather on the start of Rodeo, but this year? No, warm and humid. It is going to be warm and humid, but the weather is definitely in our favor. So let's get three day forecast for the rodeo. The next few days, we're going to see some big changes today. Warm and humid. breezy as well but by tomorrow cold front moving through in the morning is going to send those temperatures about 20 degrees colder as we talk about Thursday the rain chances do climb so in addition to having a jacket with you on Thursday you probably want to keep that umbrella handy it's not going to be a complete washout but we could see a few widely scattered showers for Thursday out the door this morning ooh, look at those clouds looking very ominous uh, as the sun starts to come up just before 7 a.m. temperature wise we're starting off very warm yesterday we did manage to hit a high of 82 degrees this morning those temperatures have dropped not a whole lot but yes they have fallen temperature readings right now in Galveston in the mid 60s and right now the visibility not looking too bad it's at about three miles you can see the haze that's developed right along seawall boulevard otherwise the winds will remain elevated 
just enough to keep any sort of widespread fog from forming. And those winds will be an issue, not just for today. It's going to keep things breezy, at times gusty, 30 to 35 mile per hour gusts. But in the wake of the front that moves through tomorrow morning, we're going to see some very strong winds develop. Some of those strongest winds will be west of I-45. We're talking 35 to 40 mile per hour gusts out towards Sealy, Colorado County, uh, out toward Brenham, also the Brazos Valley. Here's a quick peek at temperature readings out the door this morning. You are not going to need uh, a jacket, any sort of layers. Definitely want to consider temperature readings are going to be very, very mild. In fact, this time of year, our normal high is 70 degrees. These are temperatures reminiscent of early May, so May-like feels for today, but that's going to change. We've got some heat that's going to be, or some colder air that's going to be replacing some of this warm. Speaking of warm, take a look at the projected highs today out toward Del Rio, Laredo, somewhere into the upper 90s, close to triple digits there. But here comes the front. You can see I don't even have to draw the front as that cooler shade of blue. That's the cooler air diving into our area. Those temperature readings will continue to fall through the afternoon in the lower 60s and then overnight Wednesday into Thursday morning. There will be a noticeable chill in the air by Thursday morning as those temperatures tumble somewhere in the upper 40s to low 50s. This is the storm system sitting off the coast of Southern California that eventually draws us a better rain chance for Thursday and Friday. You can see Wednesday, Wednesday's cool front, less than a 20% chance of rain, but Thursday's storm system does bring back the chances for rain, not just across Southeast Texas, but across parts of our state. It should stay fairly light Thursday night into Friday. There could be an isolated rumble of thunder. Otherwise, we should be drying out over the weekend. In fact, the first half of the weekend, you'll get a nice mix of sun and clouds clouds, lower humidity, temperature readings in the morning will slowly start to climb in the low 60s, afternoon highs in the upper 70s. Another chance for some rain with our next cool front early next week, followed by some daily rain chances on the slim side with temperature readings hovering in the 50s in the morning and highs in the low to mid 70s. All right. I said giddy up. Did I scare you? Good morning, everybody. I'm Rita Garcia. You can tell I'm really excited for the roadie. Happy <laughs> roadie day. We're excited. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jacob Rasco. And I'm Samika Knight. It is Tuesday, meteorologist Ali Loresca yes. joining us to talk about the rodeo. You're all yes. ready. I like this turquoise. I'm here. ready. Just a little ready pop here and there, you okay. know. Um, it's that time. Tis the season. 